In this how to we are going to learn how to add items in drop down list or list box control from the server side. Let us see this uh, with example here. So here is my drop down list control and the list box control and in the code behind we are going to use uh, and the items dot add method of the drop down or the list box control and better to say and the list box control so what we have here is you can notice that yes I have two for loop in the first for loop we are using drop down list dot items dot add method and passing the list item as the parameter and uh, in this and again the list this list item basically accepts two parameters the string to display into the uh, as the items text and the value that will uh, that will be used for that particular item text into the drop down similarly we can use for the list box control as well list box one dot items dot add and the list item is a parameter and the text to display into the list uh, list item and the value of that particular list item for the list box control. Now let us run this page and you will see that uh, th these both drop down list and the and the list box control is populated with from item 0 to item 4 and you can see this is the uh, drop down and this is the uh, list box control. So both has been populated with um, uh, item 0 to item 4. So this is the way to basically populate the items of the drop down list or the list box control from the server side. The next how to is how to insert an item to the specified location in the drop down list or the list box control. Let's see this with example. Uh, here is my uh, drop down list control and uh, now we are going to also cop uh, see the code behind so let me copy paste the code behind as well here and uh, yep so you can see that my drop down list is very simple there is no any extra parameters or extra property of this drop down and in the code behind what we have done is that we have again uh, populated this drop down using the loop so let me comment my uh, the last uh, uh, line of code here and let me show you how this particular drop down is pop being populated from 0 to 4 now what i want to do is that i want to insert an item into this particular drop down at fourth position then i can use drop down uh, one dot items dot insert method you can see, see that this is the insert method and this insert method accepts two parameters. The first parameter is the index where I want to insert this particular item and the second parameter is the list item that I want to insert. So the first parameter I have specified three here that will basically insert an item at the fourth position because these items are zero based index and in the list item again we are passing the text uh, of the item to display and the value of the item that will be used for this particular list item. Now when I will run this page you will see that in this drop down we will have one item added at the fourth position with item in between as a text and minus one as value. Let me show you this in the source code. Here is the item that has been added into the fourth position of this particular drop down. So item dot uh, items dot insert method is basically used to do that. The next how to we are going to see is how to fire a server side event when the selected item of the drop down list or list box changes. This is the scenario, uh, sorry, let's talk about the scenario uh, for this particular how to. For example, you have a seat, you have a country drop down and based on the country selected by the user, you want to populate the uh, city drop down or let's take one, another example you have a department drop down and based on the selection of the department you want to populate the professor names into another drop down you ha if you have this kind of scenario then you can you can use this methodology so in order to uh, know automatically popul uh, in order to automatically uh, fire a server side event on the selection change of the items of drop down or the list box control uh, we can uh, fire on selected index change event so let us see this 
uh, here we have a drop down now let us notice what is the change into this drop down so here what i have done is that we have specified on selected index changed event and then we have a specified auto post back equal to true now on selected index change uh, event we are firing one uh, method one server side method let me show you that as well uh, here is my code and then we have few more lines of server side code here yes now what we are doing is that uh, first let's talk about this uh, drop down list here so on selected index changed event we are firing a fire server side event and here is my fire server side event now what is happening here is that uh, when the any item of this drop down will change this server side event will fire and in this server side event we are accessing the selected item property and then dot text property to write the selected text of the drop down and the selected value of the drop down using selected item dot value property so when and the item of this particular drop down will change this fire server side event will fire and it will write the selected text and the selected value on the page now in order to populate this drop down what we are going to do is that we are going to write another method called populate data now and in this method we are ex uh, reading the xml file that we have here and this we have departments and many department and uh, then setting data source of this particular drop down so that will basically populate the uh, drop down and uh, it will appear like this so here is my drop down and now remember one very important point here is that if you have used on selected index changed event then you will have to specify auto post back equal to true generally people forget to specify auto post back equal to true and uh, what happens is that even if you have a specified on selected in exchange this is uh, this server side event will not fire so remember to always keep auto post back equal to true in order to fire this server side event on selected in this change the server side event so here i have a specified on auto post back equal to true and uh, when i will ch uh, change the selection of this particular drop down for example i am selecting software engineering then what is happening is this automatically this form is being submitted and fire server side event is firing and that is basically writing the selected text of the drop down that is software engineering and the selected value that is 3 here let us see uh, the source code of this particular page see how software engineering as a text and value as the 3 now let me select another like manufacturing again manufacturing is the text and value is the 5 that is being written 